love with Pat's Two Cents. We oftentimes don't realize why our buttons are so easily pushed. And I can't seem to get off this subject, so God must really want to deal with somebody out there who is dealing with some serious hidden wounds that have never been healed. Now, what came to my mind before I started doing this video, this particular one, was sexual abuse and molestation. And you'd be surprised how many people have been victimized by those very things and have never dealt with them. Some of you have blocked them out of your mind and you cannot understand why you can't stand for your spouse to touch you at times. Why you get so turned off and why everything in you recoils at a show of affection. You wonder why you're not crazy about people hugging on you at church. Why you don't want foreplay when your spouse wants to make love and they want to start out with some affection and some snuggling and some smooching and you don't want to be bothered with that. Let's just do this and get it over with here. You know, do what you want to do and, you know, it, it's okay. I'll deal with it until you're done. Or if you're a man, you have issues getting an erection for your wife when she's ready and she's all excited about you and maybe you're newlyweds and you know you may not have done anything when you were dating and you were really really good about staying celibate and now that you're married you're having issues when it comes to you making love to your wife and she's wondering well does he love me and you know you love her you know that everything in you longs for her company. You admire her. You appreciate her. You even like her. But what's the problem? You have secrets and you're not dealing with them. And when there's a nice tender touch or a soft caress, you think about either what your mother did to you, what your aunt did to you, what your teacher did to you, or what your father or brother did to you. Some male figure or female adult figure that had authority over you had you so intimidated and you gave in because you had no choice. But the shame, the shame is tearing you apart and it affects you. You, you find it very difficult being intimate. Do you know what? God knows how to heal that. But you need to sit and talk to your spouse, your husband or wife, about what happened to you. And if you're not married yet and you're engaged and you're wondering if you're going to have those issues, now's the time to handle it. Pray over it. Go to God with it and ask God to get it out totally and totally heal you so that your marriage doesn't suffer so that you don't inadvertently hurt the one you love because of the one that you loved in the past as a relative because of them hurting you and betraying your trust We don't realize how many wounds we live with. There are so many. It can be so devastating that we can find it difficult just dealing with daily routines because these thoughts hound us. They taunt us. They mock us. And we carry shame and guilt. Oh, I'm feeling this. You have no reason to feel guilty. 
you were the victim. It doesn't matter if you found moments of pleasure in a shameful situation. That is only a physiological response, not who you are. I pray that God heals your heart. I pray that God heals your mind. I pray that God blesses you to totally heal on the inner man and that you and your loved one will heal together. And I pray that God enables you to forgive them, the one that hurt you, and to forgive yourself from a crime you did not commit. Amen.